Hello and welcome back to the course on machine learning. Super excited to have you on board and today I'm going to show you how to install Python onto your machine. Doesn't matter whether you have a Mac or a Windows PC, the process is very similar. So let's get straight to it. All right, so first thing, as always, we're going to need a browser. I'm gonna bring up browser and what we're going to do is just Google for Anaconda Python. That way you won't have to type in the website or you can just type in the website if you like. It's uh, continuum, uh, C-O-N-T-I-N-U-U-M dot I-O slash downloads. And what we're downloading here is Anaconda, the Anaconda distribution for Python. So let's just go ahead and click uh, the one we want. So select whichever machine you're on. I'm on Windows, so I'm gonna click Windows here. I'm gonna get the 64-bit installer and make sure you get five, Python 3.5 version. Then they're offering a cheat sheet. Uh, you can get the cheat sheet if you like, if you want to learn more about Anaconda, but we don't really need it, so I'm gonna click no thanks. And there it's downloading. It's quite large, it's 350 megabytes. So make sure you get uh, Python 3.5, not Python 2.7. This is the uh, updated version of Python. And while it's downloading, I'm going to explain a little bit what Anaconda is. So Python, like, like with R, Python is a programming language which you install into your machine. And then on top of that, you can install different integra integrated development uh, environments or IDEs, and you can install um, other, you can add packages onto it, you can do lots of different modifications. So just Python by itself is not going to be very uh, useful to you unless you install an IDE that you're going to work through uh, with Python. And therefore, it's very convenient that Anaconda um, have, or from Continuum Analytics, uh, they have uh, developed this pre-packaged solution called Anaconda, which installs not only Python, but installs a couple of IDEs onto your computer, installs the most common packages that you might be using, like NumPy, Pandas, uh, and some others. And therefore, it's, it's just a very conveniently packaged uh, solution that you can download and install. And that's exactly what we're doing. So I already have it on my computer, so I'm gonna actually cancel this installation. Uh, download, I actually have the download package. And once it's downloaded it, you just need to run it, uh, whether it's Mac or Windows, it's gonna be, it's gonna look similar, and then just go through the installation process. It's gonna ask you where you wanna install it, agree to the license, uh, who you wanna install it for, where you wanna install it to. So I, I usually recommend installing into the default folder. And then I'll ask you a couple of other questions. So just go through this installation process. It's gonna take a little bit of time because it is a large package. And then when it's done, what you need to do is you need to actually launch it. So I'm gonna show you now how to uh, find it on your computer and launch it. So give me a second. Uh, there's my uh, taskbar. So if you go to your taskbar at the bottom and don't worry about Anaconda Cloud, just in your search over here, just start typing in Anaconda. And here you can see that you've got Anaconda Navigator. That's the one we need. You need to find Anaconda Navigator and launch that. So that is your uh, aim. And it's gonna take a few seconds to load as well. So let's give it some time. All right, so here it is. This is what Anaconda Navigator looks like. I'm gonna expand it to full screen. And here you can see that you've already got quite a few things. And it's, it's a very user-friendly environment as well. Um, and you can also find it on a Mac. So not only on a Windows, on a Mac, you just go to... So you just need to press Command Space on a Mac, and that'll bring up the search. And there, just type in Anaconda Navigator, and you will be greeted with a window just like this one. And here you can see that a couple of things are already available. You've got uh, the Jupyter Notebooks, for example, uh, Qt Console, and Spider. And what we're interested in is actually Spider. So Spider's our ID of choice. You can see here, powerful Python ID with advanced editing, interactive testing, debugging, and introspection features. So we won't be using all of those features, but it is going to be our ID of choice for this course. So let's go ahead and launch Spider and have a look inside. So give it a second. And there is Spider. So this is a separate window. You don't, you no longer need Anaconda Navigator. You can just close it. Don't show again. Yes. There is a Spider. And this is our ID. And if you're launching this on a Mac, you might not see all of these windows. So on a Mac, it might uh, look something. Uh, give me a second. Let me close all of this. Look something like this, like empty. So to bring up your panes, you go to view panes and then you need editor for sure. 
then you don't need console. So don't bring up console because you need the IPython console. It's more advanced and it's what we're going to be using in this course. Then you will need a variable explorer and then you will also need object inspector. So, and if you need uh, any other ones, so if you find that throughout the course we're using something else like uh, maybe file explorer or something through out of these, you can always just add them on from here. So you'll be able to quickly add them like that. Uh, no problem. So just if you find that you don't have a tab that we're using, just go to you know, view panes and add it in. All right, so that's how you get the panes. And I'm just going to remove that line for now. Uh, and now what we want to do is also I want to show you how to customize the view. Now you can see right away that the font here is very small and you might want to increase it. We'll definitely increase it for this course so you can see it better. But if you want to increase it on your own machine, just go to preferences and then on the left, find editor. So this is your editor and here you can increase the font. You can even change the font style and just maybe increase it to a 14 or something. So you can see it's increasing in size very nicely like that. Then you can also make it darker. So uh, if you want, uh, for instance, if it's better for your eyes or you're working at night, this might be too bright. Very easy. Just over here, select the color scheme that you want. For instance, let's say spider dark. And there you go. It's now dark. So it's totally up to you. I'm just going to bring it back to the normal spider. There's a couple of other options. You can even create your own options. Uh, you can just go to syntax coloring and then uh, you can adjust them here. Uh, to your preferences. Okay, so that's how we set up our uh, console, oh, uh, our uh, IDE, and also actually you can change um, in the console or IPython console, you can change the font size here as well. So for instance, you can just go and set it to 14 or something else if you want to increase the font size as well here. So you can find those other uh, windows as well. And now just to finish off, we're going to type in our first program. We're going to say print and then in brackets we're going to say in quotation marks uh, hello world exclamation mark and now we're going to highlight everything and press Control enter on our keyboard or command return on a mac if you press that then you can see that that line has been copied into the console and has been run and we've printed our first phrase hello world congratulations you've just installed python onto your machine and you're ready to proceed with the course i look forward to seeing you next time and until then enjoy machine learning